Spun into the boxes for the ninth event. Set. Ready and racing, Spirited Journey left beautifully, straight to the lead from Grace in Flame and Vapor Zulu getting across out wide to Harlequin, Big Bruiser. They were full of them dropping back Vapor Zulu. The next one thing was one Darren, Miss Gold Rose to Talinda. Spirited Journey, the leader off the top turner by a length and a half. Ace Me Up is pushing it for the leader, got away again. Three lengths away, third Grace in Flame. They were followed by Big Bruiser, True Harlequin and Vapor Zulu, but Spirited Journey opens up. He's racing away, Grace in Flame the second, but Spirited Journey won it nicely from Grace in Flame. Ace Me Up has run third, it's a McFarlane trifecta and fourth home big bruiser they were followed next home then was uh, Vapor Zulu followed uh, behind them True Harley couldn't miss Gold Rose and one Darrow one of the last in and a scorching run of 25.69 oh that's high flying 25.69 he just looked well placed to win that spirited journey he's going to return you $3.170 so he did tighten up on the tote late he's by Magic Sprite out of Valley and Journey Lisa McFarlane the trainer for Gregory Stretton Defeats the kennel mate, three white, Grace in flame, which has worked home. Lisa McFarlane for Warren Owen. And the favourite ace me up has run third, Lisa McFarlane for Briar Summerell. So there's three different owners there for the trifecta for Lisa McFarlane. As I said, $3.170, $3.70 for Grace in Flame and $2.10 for Ace Me Up. Six and a quarter lengths, one and a quarter. He opened right up at the finish. Six and a quarter, one and a quarter, 25.69. That's win number five out of 24 now for Spirited Journey. He certainly does excel off an inside draw. His form here over the last couple of months has been very strong and he just looked nicely placed there to do what he did here this afternoon. So I hope punters have stuck with Spirited Journey. We've got one to go here this afternoon. The last race, 10. The scratchings are three and 10. And we'll be back for the broadcast and the final event at 4.45.